the last few years, Dolby Atmos has become the gold standard for movie sound and some of the biggest blockbusters to hit the screen. And while Atmos has made a huge impact in how we experience movies, the audio quality in gaming hasn't been as advanced until now. Clearly, surround has been around for a long time, but has not had the holy grail that's brought the masses to it. And Dolby Atmos, we think, is actually going to be that holy grail. It's going to be the future of surround sound in games. Believe it or not, games have actually been in object-based audio since the early 90s. Objects were being placed in the height plane without users at home even knowing about it. But because we've been using channel-based renderers, all those sounds have been squashed down flat into a 5.1 or 7.1 plane. So what we've done with Dolby Atmos is we moved away from channels and moved into sounds as objects. We create this atmosphere around the audience, if you will, by unlocking the height plane and giving sound a set of coordinates, a position in this three-dimensional space. When we got the demo of Dolby Atmos, we were, we were really excited about it, and it was obvious that it was something we had to explore. We all came out of there with, with just literally our jaws on the floor. <gasps> just this holiday season, it launched in games in Electronic Arts Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront has great sound design. It's completely authentic to the Star Wars universe. You are on Hoth. You are hearing TIE fighters fly overhead. You can hear stormtroopers firing from all around you. And the Dolby Atmos mix makes this much more impactful. You know, you have a lot going on with precise spatial locations. You can zero in quickly on exactly what you need to get done. Move on that position. I can tell that that's Darth Vader standing behind me, ready to strike. When the guys at DICE first got their hands on Dolby Atmos, what they realized is they had originally put the audio for the lightsaber on the hilt of the lightsaber. So when you were swinging the lightsaber around as Luke Skywalker, the sound was always coming out of the center channel. With Dolby Atmos enabled, by sliding that sound emitter to the end of the lightsaber, now every time you swung the lightsaber, the sound started behind you, swung overhead, and ended up in front of you. There's so many things you can't see on screen that happens behind you. And with Dolby Atmos, you actually get the full kind of spherical experience of actually being on these locations. So we're super pleased to have that implemented in our game. What we've heard from movie mixers, as well as game audio professionals, is that having more control over the spatial locations of audio results in them having to apply less audio processing, specifically dynamic range compression. There's more sonic space to spread sounds out as opposed to put them all together in a lesser channel-based system. If something's mastered for Atmos, it folds down to stereo really cleanly and elegantly. Whether you have full Atmos, or whether you have a subset of it, or whether you have 5.1, the system is very smart about taking this complex material and being able to still give you a wonderful sound in your existing 5.1 system until you upgrade. That's important because we as producers of this content only have to create once, and that's very appealing. Like movies, gaming technology has come a long way. But now, gaming studios can deliver sound the way they intend it, and gamers can experience the fully immersive worlds they've been waiting for. Oh, let's break it down! We're just beginning to learn the potential of what we can do with this. Literally in your living room, people are gonna be able to enjoy this experience. Why would we not want to be part of that?